हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री आर्ट माई सेल्फ बाई कुमार पटेल एंड फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड वीक एसिड सो वॉट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड वॉट इज वीक एसिड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज वी ऑल आर नोइंग डैट वॉट इज एसिड वॉट इज एसिड सो एसिड मीन्स वॉट नाउ इन टेंथ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट एसिड मीन्स द कंपाउंड विच इज रिलीजिंग एच प्लस आयन द कंपाउंड विच इज रिलीजिंग एच प्लस आयन इन टू द वॉटर इज नॉन एज अ एसिड ओके सो वेदर इट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड और वीक एसिड बोथ द कंपाउंड मीन्स बोथ द एसिड विल रिलीज द एच प्लस आयन्स एंड बेज एज यू आर नोइंग दैट द बेज विल रिलीज ओ एच माइनस इट इज नॉन एज अ बेज ओके सो दिस इज द वेरी वेरी कॉमन डेफिनेशन ऑफ एसिड एंड द बेज बट वॉट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड वॉट इज वीक एसिड so first of all you should know that when acid is releasing h plus ion into the water what happens when acid reacts with water reacts means what when acid is dissolved into the water when acid dissolved into the water so what it will do acid will release h plus ion okay okay releasing h plus ion h plus ion so whether the acid is strong or weak it is totally depend on the number of h plus ion release number of h plus ion release means what you can say that if the greater the h plus ion release it means it is a stronger acid and the less number of h plus ion release it is known as a weak acid okay so in strong acid we can say that the h plus ion okay release more okay more h plus ion release means the greater h plus ion the greater h plus ion release in water releases in water is known as a strong acid it is known as a strong acid and here again weak acid will also when acid added into the water what happened h plus ions will be released okay h plus ions will be released but here less h plus ion will be released okay the less less h plus ions releases so it is known as a weak acid it is known as a weak acid and here so it is known as a strong acid okay so this is very very basic definition but you have to understand that how the uh, greater the number of h plus ion release in strong acid and weak in a uh, weak acid so first of all let me give an example of the strong acid examples of strong acid let me write here examples of strong acid for example hcl then h2so4 then hno3 as you are knowing that it is hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid okay and just like that example of weak acid uh, you have to remember two examples are enough for your 10th standard so ch3coh it's a acetic acid and uh, h2co3 it's a carbonic acid so actually what happens when they are dissolved into the water so i have to write down here reaction and then you will get idea that why it is strong acid and why it is weak acid so when this h plus when this hcl the hcl mixed with water actually it is releasing two ions one is h plus ion okay h plus ion and cl minus ions okay they are releasing h plus ion and cl minus ion h plus ion is a positive ion and cl is a negative ion okay here you have to remember that and you have to pay attention that here single arrow is there okay which means that the hcl hcl convert into the h plus and cl minus ion okay it means that hcl is converting into the ions but the reverse arrow is not shown here okay and it means that here the hcl will completely dissociate okay so here the acid acid h plus and cl minus ions are forming but the completely dissociation okay so i have to write here completely completely dissociation 
of HCl. Okay, and it is shown by a single arrow from HCl to H plus ion. Okay, but when I am writing the dissociation of CH3CWH. Okay, so dissociation of CH3CWH I can write like this. CH3CWOH. What is its name? It's acetic acid. Let me write here. It's acetic acid. When acetic acid dissolve into the water. So what happen? You know, first of all, see, it will release H plus ion. So this H plus ion is released. Okay, this H plus ion is released. So it is releasing H plus ion plus CH3 C double O minus. Okay, so H plus ion and CH3 C double O minus ion they are releasing weak acid. But why it is weak acid? So when in water they are releasing H plus ion and CH3 C double H ion, it's not a completely dissociation. It is not complete dissociation. So what happens here? Actually, this H plus ion and this CH3CWO minus ion are again converting, are again converting into the CH3CWO H. Are you getting my point? And that's why I have to show here double arrow like this. Okay, so some molecules, some molecules of this CH3CWO H acetic acid are converting into the H plus and CH3CWO minus, and some molecules from that side means from the product side again they are reacting, again they are uh, attracted to each other and converting into the acetic acid. Okay, so like this, finally when we are mixing this CH3CWO H in a water some molecules are remain undissociated so let me write here undissociated undissociated molecules of acetic acid acetic acid okay so let me explain you here for example we have taken uh, water Okay, we have taken water and uh, what we are going to do, we are adding HCl. Okay, these are the HCl. Okay, so many molecules are there, HCl. So when we are adding HCl into the water, when we are adding HCl into the water, this is the water. Okay, what it will do? It will release H plus and Cl minus ion. So into the solution, the solution is forming, we can say the solution, the acid solution, uh, HCl is not there, okay? No HCl is present, okay? Here, no HCl in water or we can say solution, okay? No any HCl is there in a water or solution only, what are there? only H plus and Cl minus ions, okay, only H plus and Cl minus ions are releasing. But in case of, in case of this weak acid, what will happen? See, in case of weak acid, suppose we have taken the water, okay, we have taken water and now we are adding, again, this is water, okay, in water we have taken CH3 CWH. Okay, I am adding CH3COOH acetic acid into the water. So what will happen actually, first of all, this H plus will release and CH3COO minus this ion and H plus ion will release. Okay, but see again reverse reaction is happening here. So in the solution, in the solution, I can write that these two are again converting into the CH3COOH. Okay, so see here, I have shown this CH3COO into the solution. Okay, so it means that this undissociated undissociated CH3COOH in the solution. Okay, and here no HCl. No HCl means no, no undissociated molecule is present. And that's why we can say that here the acid gets completely dissociated. Okay, and uh, in weak acid, the acid is not completely dissociated. Okay, so we are writing here completely dissociation is 
occurring then it's known as a strong acid and here we can say that no completely dissociation okay here i have to write here completely dissociation completely dissociation not occurring okay completely dissociation is not occurring and that's why it is known as a weak acid because of these molecules undissociated molecules are present into the solution are you getting my point okay let me write one more example let me write one more example of this another acid for example we are taking h2so4 this is sulfuric acid when sulfuric acid mixed with water what it will release it will release as plus ion plus so4 to minus ion so here two h plus R, sorry two hydrogens are there so i have to write here two so it will release two h plus ion okay but see again i have shown here a single arrow and what single arrow is uh, depicting so it is showing that only single side reaction is occurring means h plus so4 will convert into the h plus and so4 minus but not converting again into the H2SO4. Okay, but uh, if I'm writing the another example of a carbonic acid, H2CO3, what is it? It's a carbonic acid. Okay, it's a carbonic acid. This acid is present in the cold drinks. Okay, when we are dissolving CO2 into the water, it is forming carbonic acid. So carbonic acid with water, it is forming H plus and CO3 minus okay this is hydrogen ion and this is carbonate ion what is it it is carbonate ion this is sulfate ion but again see this H plus and this CO3 minus carbonate ion and hydrogen ion again converting into the H2CO3 carbonic acid and that's why here again undissociated undissociated molecules okay undissociated molecules of H2CO3 okay so if the undissociated molecules are remain in the solution it's known as a weak acid and if it is not then it's known as a strong acid okay one more example I have written so I'm writing here HNO3 HNO3 when mixed with water it is converting into the H plus plus NO3 minus okay so now I hope you got that uh, why it is called strong acid why it is called weak acid because here completely dissociation is occurring and that's why here the greater the h plus ions are there okay number of h plus ions are more and here what happens here the ions which are forming by dissociation they are again converting into the same acid so into the solution see here into the solution into the solution the undissociated molecules are remaining and here you can see that only H plus and Cl minus are there no undissociated HCl is present okay so this is all about the strong acid and we and uh, now I am going to show you what is the strong base and weak base okay okay so let's start what is strong base and what is weak base so again what is base base means what uh, if the compound is releasing OH minus ion, OH minus ion into the water, then it is known as a base. Okay. So whatever base is there, strong as strong base or a weak base, both will release the OH minus ions into the water. Okay. So just like acid here, the same definition you can write that if the base, okay, the compound or the base, okay, base which is getting completely dissociation into the water okay base which is which gets completely dissociation completely dissociation in water is known as a strong base and just like that here base which is not completely dissociate into water is known as a weak base okay is known as a weak base okay so let me write some examples first for example uh, sodium hydroxide NaOH 
KOH. These are the example of strong base. And just like that here, I can write uh, ammonium NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. Let me write your name. Ammonium hydroxide. And uh, another example is uh, CaOH twice. It's uh, calcium hydroxide. Okay, so these are the example of weak base. And uh, let me explain you again the dissociation of strong base. So first of all, I will write here NaOH. Okay, when NaOH is mixed with water, it is converting into Na plus and OH minus. But again, see here. I have shown here the single arrow and single arrow from NaOH to Na plus and OH minus ions. Okay, so this is sodium ion and this is hydroxide ion. Sodium ion and hydroxide ion. So now what will happen here? Here only single side reaction is occurring. Means the NaOH is completely dissociated into the Na plus and OH minus ion. So here no undissociated molecules are remaining. Okay, so I can say that completely dissociation is occurring. But uh, here what will happen if I am writing NH4OH in the water it is converting into NH4 plus and OH minus ions. Okay, so this is single side but Due to it is weak acid, what will happen here? I have to show here the double arrow, double arrow, okay. One, it is showing dissociation NH4OH2, NH4 plus and OH minus and again, this NH4 plus and OH minus ions are converting into the NH4OH, okay. So, here the NH4OH, some molecules undissociated, undissociated molecules okay remains into the solution undissociated molecule remains into the solution and here here no no undissociated no undissociated molecules remain okay that's why it is known as a strong base okay i can give you example just uh, before i have shown you this is the for example, water, okay, and I am adding uh, NaOH, NaOH into the water. What will happen? In uh, water, only Na plus and OH minus molecules will be there, okay. So, this is the strong base and just like that, I can show here, if I am having a water and in water, I am adding NH4OH. So due to this is the weak base, due to this is the weak base, it will convert into the NH4 plus OH minus. But again, this NH4 plus and OH minus converts into the NH4OH. So in solution, this undissociated undissociated NH4OH remains okay and that's why the number of OH minus ion the number of OH minus ion are decreasing here okay and here totally dissociation is occurring so greater the number of OH minus ion I can write here let me write here greater the number of OH minus ions why because no undissociated molecules are remaining and here less number of oh minus are there okay and that's why it is known as a weak base so what is strong or weak it is completely depend upon the number of oh minus ions and just like that in acid the H plus ions. Okay. So here due to the reverse reaction, the number of OH minus R are decreasing and here it is not happening and that's why this is strong base and this is weak base. I hope you understood very well. Uh, let me write one more example. For example, uh, CaOH twice. When CaOH twice, calcium hydroxide mixed with water, it is forming Ca2 plus and OH minus ion. But two OH are there, so two OH minus will form. And again, here I have to show 
reverse reaction also because it's a weak base okay so double arrow i have to mention here and uh, let me write one more example of koh koh when mixed with water convert into the k plus oh minus and here only single arrow single arrow which is showing the completely dissociation of k plus and oh minus ion. okay so i hope you understood very well please make a notes okay take a screenshot or if you are writing with me with understanding it is better for you okay so if any doubt is there please write down in the comment section thank you very much